Uh, I am Dr. Vinod Paul. I am a pediatrician by training, and I am currently a member of the apex think tank of the government of India called the Niti Aayog, where I anchor health and nutrition for the country. Uh, today we are going to examine the scenario of maternal health, in particular maternal mortality, and we are going to see how to accelerate our progress toward achieving the SDG goals related to maternal health. Uh, it's important to understand the definition of maternal death. Maternal death is defined as the death of a woman while pregnant or within 42 days of termination of pregnancy from any cause related to or aggravated by pregnancy or its management. As you would note, uh, it has uh, an element of link with pregnancy, so during pregnancy as well as 40, up to 42 days of the completion of pregnancy and the conditions are those that are related to pregnancy per se or are aggravated by pregnancy. The metric used is maternal mortality ratio which reads as maternal deaths per 100,000 by births. Where do we stand in relation to maternal mortality globally? As of 2018, as many as 830 women die from preventable causes related to pregnancy and childbirth every day. 99% of all maternal deaths occur in developing countries. And as you would expect, the mortality rate is higher among women living in rural areas and those that belong to poor communities. Adolescent pregnancies face a higher risk of pregnancy-related complications and are therefore more prone to maternal mortality. The key to saving maternal lives is in ensuring skilled care before, during and after childbirth. And this same care also saves newborn babies as well as reduces fetal deaths and stillbirths. The world has made significant progress in reducing maternal mortality during the MDGs era. Between 1990 and 2015, maternal mortality declined by 44% globally. It came down from an MMR of 385 per 100,000 live births to 216 per 100,000 live births. This decline has been historic and never before in the history of humankind. In the context of SDGs, the SDG 3 aims to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages and its first target, namely target 3.1, states that by the year 2030, the world would reduce global maternal mortality ratio to less than 70 per 100,000 live births. The current decline, however, will not be sufficient for us to achieve the goal of 70 maternal deaths per 100,000 live births. At the current rate of our progress, we would be at 164 per 100,000 live births and not 70 or less as we have enshrined in the SDG goals. Therefore, as one world, we will fall short of the SDG target in relation to maternal mortality unless we make special efforts. And these special efforts need to be particularly focused in 70 countries. Most of them belong to the sub-Saharan part of Africa. There are limited number of conditions which cause maternal death. These include hemorrhage, responsible for more than one third of maternal mortality, maternal deaths. Uh, hypertension, 18%, half of deaths due to hemorrhage. Uh, unsafe abortion, 9%, and uh, infections uh, cause 8% of maternal deaths. What we need to address these is first and foremost good antenatal care services. Uh, 
and WHO's new antenatal care guidelines recommend eight antenatal care contacts. That would ensure early detection and management of complications, and in particular, complications related to hypertension as a problem. Skilled care and emergency obstetric care is the pillar of preventing maternal deaths. This would encompass management of hemorrhage by using drugs and if required blood transfusion and prevention of embolism which is a rare but lethal complication uh, of pregnancy. Also prevention and management of sepsis requires skilled care to be available to the mother in the later part of pregnancy and at and after childbirth. It's also very important to appreciate that unsafe abortions are a very important cause of maternal deaths and therefore ensuring quality abortion services will make a very significant difference to maternal health and maternal survival. It may be noticed uh, that uh, even in the current times uh, we have relatively modest provision of skilled attendant uh, care at childbirth in some parts of the world. You would see the red and maroon areas in sub-Saharan Africa and in parts of Asia where the coverage of skilled birth attendance is low. Even though since 2000, a significant progress has been made in increasing the coverage of skilled health staff looking after childbirth rising from 63% in 2000 to 80% as of now. However, as you would notice, the distribution is uneven, and even more so, there are concerns about the overall quality of care, even in the hands of skilled birth attendants, and this needs to be addressed as we move forward. As we move toward SDG goals, maternal health needs to be seen at the core of universal health coverage endeavor. There cannot be universal health coverage without optimum access to maternal health services and very low maternal mortality rates. As we said, uh, the target 3.1 uh, relates to achieving maternal mortality ratio of uh, 70 per thousand or less. Uh, but also, it's important to note that maternal mortality scenario is also an indicator of how well the health systems are functioning in general. Uh, because maternal uh, health encompasses antenatal care, reflecting the primary health care side of our health services, and when the complications occur during pregnancy, it deals with emergency obstetric care, including cesarean sections, access to blood, and referral transport. So it is generally said that maternal mortality rates are an interesting and valid indicator of how well countries' health systems are functioning. Ensuring universal coverage for maternal health services would require quality reproductive health services and ensuring that the unmet need for reproductive health services is taken care of. And again, to ensure universal health coverage for maternal health interventions, financial protection pathways must be opened up for women. Key messages include the fact that we have been able to reduce maternal mortality by 50% as global community. However, the current burden is still highly, highly unacceptable. Maternal mortality is a problem of poor countries. Maternal health is at the heart of development agenda and universal health coverage, and we need to endeavor to achieve the maternal health goal of SDG era, namely maternal mortality ratio of 70 or less. However, other health priorities of women are also on the horizon for us to address. These include infertility, maternal mental health, cancers, and other non-communicable diseases, as well as the burden, a huge burden, of gender violence affecting women's health and well-being.